well, four races in and we're first and fourth in the championship. So, as I said, that was a fairly good start, very solid. So, one win. Um, but Stewart's obviously come out of the blocks fine, and, and obviously the objective is to have two boys in there to shoot out come the last three races. So, as I said, that's uh, a strong start. I'm sure there's every other team in pit lane wishes they've got two riders in the, in the first four, anyways. One on the front row, one on the second row. So. We're always happy to have both riders in the first two rows. Nice to have two on the front row, would have been even better. But yeah, all good. Everybody still wants to beat us, so let's bring it on. Uh, yeah, it's been a good, solid start. I've had, um, you know, playing top fives, a podium at Donington. It was a good way to start the season. And uh, and then, you know, we've continued it on. We're on the front row here at Alton. So hopefully we'll get some good results here and continue on the, the solid start. Um, I think it's fair to say that it's been pretty difficult. Um, you know, the, the the plan always before before testing was, you know, to, to stick with the same team, stick with the same bike, and you know, try and try back some sort of podium credits and some really really good results at the start of the season, whilst everybody else was kind of developing and you know, getting to the bottom of how to make their new bikes work. And uh, you know, went to went to testing and, and flicked myself, and never even got to to try the new stuff that the team had worked so hard on for me over the winter. So. Definitely been a bit on the back foot, but um, we had a test here last week at Alton Park, and uh, that was like my opportunity to to try some new parts and to to get some you know some feeling for for what the bike does with with different bits and pieces on it, and you know we went we went quite quick to be fair, but I think that the the races today are going to be tough. Um, Alton Park's never an easy track to, to race around. You know it'd be great fun if you could just come here and do some skids and some wheelies and what have you because it's just a, it's an awesome track to ride, but uh, to race everything has to be absolutely perfect. So. Fingers crossed we've got, uh, we've got everything nearly perfect and we'll, we'll get two strong results today. First race for British Superbikes today here at Alton Park dropping into Alt Hall and it is the fleet-footed Stuart Easton who skips to the front. Brooks tries to head him off round the outside. Easton has a nasty moment exiting Old Hall corner and it's Brooks who grabs the advantage down the hill. But look at this, Tommy Bridewell muscles his way through on the Tyco BMW, launches downhill into second place. The front four already breaking clear. Bridewell, Brooks, Byrne, Easton, the three Bs are at the front. The familiar teammates uh, who know one another so well, the PBM motorsport Kawasaki's of that man Stuart Easton and the reigning champion Shaky Byrne they lost a bit of ground on that lap third place Shane Byrne fourth Easton Shaky Byrne Yeah, we need to uh, we need to work on the bike a little bit for race two to uh, to try and make the zero work better for us. Um, but all in all, I'm quite happy. I mean, the the pace that that Tommy and Josh set them was was incredible. You know, lap record after lap record. Even I was doing them on my own in, in third place, and I was thinking, blimey, you know, can't can't possibly keep this up. But they did. it out of the blocks and that cost him dearly he did and he's back to about fourth or fifth place as he goes through turn one yeah got a big wheelie off the line had to depress the clutch again more than he wanted to that has to slow the back down not a brilliant start from josh so as they drop downhill it's stuart easton once more who backs the advantage as he did first time out but first time out he'd already got uh, backed by tommy bridewell going down into cascades this time he has the lead from kian Ari. what a start so the kian Ari in the front uh, second place for Shaky Bird from Kent, third place for Stuart Eastwood from Hoyk in Scotland. So Burn leads it from Kianari. We're on the uh, third lap from the end at the moment. 15 laps complete. Cooper in ninth, McConnell 10th, Walker 11th, Lee Jackson having a strong ride in 12th place ahead of Westmoreland, Mossy. Josh Waters currently the last point scorer. Oh, that's... Oh, Kianari is taking the boat down. He just lost the back end. Oh. Dropping down into his chicane, oh. and Keo 
Bale goes down, and down goes Shaky Bird. He was, well, that was a real racing incident. Gennady was absolutely, completely committed to that and, and couldn't do... Once he committed to trying to outbreak in Shaky Bird, he could do nothing. You cannot stop your bike quicker than you are doing. And he couldn't get out from behind him to go straight down the... the, the look, he's just... He's going up the inside of this point. Look, the back's in there. He can't slow it down. He, kn he knows it's going wrong at that point. Tries to get across the back of Shane. Cannot do it. Yeah. With, I think Shaky's all right, but let's hope that Keanari well, is. Keanari looked to go down fairly heavy on his shoulder. Yeah. Now, most collarbones are broken by you putting your hand oh. down. Yeah, but you see it folded under. Okay. That's, a, that, that, that's a good thing. He said for his part, he's got to pull across, defend a little bit, like he's doing, that's it, make him do the oh, work. Perfect. Make him work out. He's, made, he's done that perfectly. James is, but James is looking down the outside. Ellison goes round the outside, grabs the inside line of the elite. Stuart Easton moves back across. Easton grabs the race victory. Oh, and uh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Do you know, the thing is, he's so popular as Easton in the paddock that nobody dis would uh, begrudge him that. They wouldn't. Very uh, happy, more relieved to be honest than anything. But uh, it's nice to get a, a win since uh, since I had um, my 2011 injuries. Um, so we came back. I did a bit of super sport, and then now we're we're finally back uh, on the top step in BSB. But uh, I have to say it was a, <laughs> a fair bit fortunate. But um, at the same time, you know, like these guys said, that the top six or you know ho however many there was, were also so equally matched today anyway. So. You know, he could have he could have rode a great race and, and and been at the back of the bunch. You know, and and uh, it it fell for me today, and we'll we'll gl gladly take it and uh, move on to the next one. We're here for one purpose to get um, competitive mileage to go road racing, and uh, you know I've done that. I've done um, so many laps in uh, Almeria in Spain this winter, and same again at Cartagena. Three rounds of BSB, not had one crash. Feeling really comfortable, and um, you know I've had. To, race pretty much at the back and keep myself out of danger but um, I've enjoyed riding the bike and I'm ready to go to North West next week and on to the TT where hopefully we can get some um, results out of it all. Yeah, bittersweet really, we were hoping, looking like we are going to have two on the roster then or maybe even a 1-2 so both riders look strong in the second race. We've first, second and fourth in the championship or we've got to be somewhere in there so I know we're the only team with two riders in the first six so it's looking really, really good for us as we're building towards that showdown places so yeah, good.